drive through garage and if you tune in make sure you subscribe man and if you return make sure to like and share the video to your friends family or whoever y'all can see guys i'm really wet about now it's been raining i just got home it's been raining from where i was coming from all the way to where i'm at now which is home now i want to wait and do this but i might as well go ahead and do it so stay tuned throughout the whole video you will see what will transpire as you can see i took the siding uh, trim off and the front grill i had repainted those uh, to black and they came out really nice they really did uh just sanded it down and repainted it that's pretty much it also we got one big thing we got to do i told you i won't have you know cruise control so we're going to try to fix that issue today like i said stay throughout the, uh, the video and we're going to see if we get it fixed we already know we're going to have christmas tree lights uh, this has been going on for like what a month or two after the car had broken down on me back in February maybe I don't know I did an oil change I cleaned my filter I did all the good little stuff on this car um, I have recorded it but I just want to start fresh here it was too dark anyway so I changed my oil to 5w40 a mobile one European formula oil and also use a different type of filter which is uh, the mobile one filter instead of the frame uh, filter uh, I mean it really don't I don't think it make any difference only the brand name it always be like that the brand names but i mean depending i guess the history of the brand because there are really good top brands out there that have a good name we're gonna see how she run uh smoothly um we'll clean this car out uh, it's raining my carport uh is full you know with the porsche and the truck so um i usually go to like a car wash up the road because it's like shelter and all that and uh just work on there from, uh, from there I think that's just pretty much it. So we give you our POV drive and we're going to place our trim and all that back on. We're going to probably wash the car even though it's still raining. I just want to soap it down because we do have some dirty spots. And I probably got to repaint some other stuff um, and make it look uh, nice and all. That's pretty much it. And let me know if I should get some pillows for the Mercedes, which I want to make it like, it's comfortable in here, but I want to make it like more comfortable uh, for my passengers and all that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the car ride nice and it been doing very well so except this headliner right here i know this headliner um it been like this ever since i bought the car um it's a whole lot to do um to replace this part right here but anyway let me cut all the talking and uh, let's get to the car wash i'm missing one thing and that's my filter the one i say i clean so i gotta go back inside get the filter get wet up again and put it back so i'm gonna go <laughs> So I'm gonna get it right about now. It's kind of dark in here. It is dark. All right, so we got the filter, so I'm gonna end up putting her in. The filter is right here, as y'all can see. Get wet up, but just whatever. You can see, we finna open her up. Don't want my filter wet, but it's getting wet. So right about now, I'm trying to give y'all good angles uh, with my videos. I'm trying to get better and all that uh, with my videos. Some some type of way if this go on. Get your ass on. <laughs> there we go. I thought about going with different type of intake setup where it runs from back here and you have two mains coming out. So I thought about doing that, but okay, so hey, let's get right. Honestly guys, this car will never get old. I get old. I'm gonna just drive in a regular drive mode. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all, you know, having a great day. I'm having a great day, honestly. I, I've been having a good week. Just been really busy uh, with work and all, uh, which is nothing wrong with that, you know? A busy day, make a busy dollar. I probably never heard nothing like that. I came up with that. So, somebody ever asked, why are you so busy? So I'm just making a busy dollar. You know them busy dollars? <laughs> Crazy, boy, I tell you. Car would never get old. This car would never get old. And the rain is my favorite type of weather. I love the rain. It, it, it 
it got great pickup speed and all that. If it need to get to somewhere, it will get uh, to somewhere. Shit, I might, <laughs> I might need to get the AMG or the, well, the AMG is the uh, E55 or just go with the E430. I always, I had so many people ask why I won't do that. Um, the only thing you can do with this car cosmetically, I mean, you cosmetically is really wheels, maybe a coilover kit. Um, if you ain't trying to, you know, be too expensive like me, uh, which I might end up anyway, uh, going over towards the coilovers instead of the lower springs, but the lower springs been pretty damn good. I had a little fender, I guess the wheel hit the fender a little bit, but after that, I ain't had no issues or nothing. I guess it cleared some way. I don't know. Hey, let me give y'all the car. This is what y'all like, I guess, seeing the stuff. We're going to have to fill up. I'm not gonna fill up today. I probably fill up tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna, I have to go down the road anyway. I forgot my damn batteries and all that, so I got to pick up my my two charging batteries and a big ass battery that I left at a um, store that I was working at. So that's like 40, 45 minutes away. So, who car is doing that? Oh, but uh, yeah. After we put on everything, after. We, you know, hopefully get the lights and all that cleared or they don't pop up and hopefully our cruise control work, we will be fine. Cause the cruise control work without the lights on, but when the lights are on, the cruise control don't work. So that's telling me something with the brake light switch. Uh, so yeah, got this from uh, FC Piero. So hopefully it treat me nice. So we're going to get to work. I need to get me a damn tripod cause I want to get better angles for y'all and all that. Let's just say that. I want to get, I want to like get better with my videos. I really do. Turn her off. And just like that, we got the car off. And now we are going to get on this W210. As you can see, got the trim off. We need to put the trim back on. Well, before I do that, I want to pressure wash this nasty gunking on it off. So let's get to it. You can see she looked like a beast. <laughs> I was thinking about should I take these stickers off? Should I leave the decals off? Y'all let me know. It kind of gives characteristic to the car. I always been getting good compliments uh, on this car. Um, probably one bad. That's just uh, from my mom. She's just like, oh, it's too loud. But she's still liking her stuff. But you know how people like. Um, quietness or loudness but it's whatever i guess whatever but it's my car it's my whip i do whatever i want but anyway got really no gap right there but whew. and it was quick let's put all the top let's put this trim on in a bit so let's watch i can see that quarter stuck right there Up, looking 10 times better than what it was before. Now we're trying to put the trim on. Got all the trim and everything in here. Um, yeah, we got extra goodies and some trash that need to be gone. <laughs> Tell me how it's smooth. It's kind of hard to pick, but that's pretty damn smooth and nice. So guys, we got the first trim on. So we putting on the front grill. So we got the front grill on. This had one, two, three, four, five, six bolts in this little plastic piece right here. So she nice and stuff. Only thing I need to put on is this cover and all that. Uh, but like I said, let me know if I should go with a double intake instead of just this one. Um, yeah. Belt still good. Make sure y'all check out belts. Uh, also, Every, this car is like pretty low. It ain't low, but it's low. And you know how you go to grocery stores or any store and you park and they got them little bump bumper things on the ground, whatever you call them things, bump stops. And like one day it had drug underneath and it had bent the frame 
well the metal i guess bracket piece uh down below so if i ever replace this take all this out i'm gonna have to just unbend it and i know it would be pretty easy so i'm not worried about it right now no we don't have no crack lines or anything of that nature uh fluid still feel uh filled up and all that we need to put our cover back on we need to tighten everything up and that's just pretty much it anyway guys mercedes is complete not yet though so we got all our trims on and it's looking nice in here don't look bad or anything let me know what conditioner or something i need to keep these seats up so i do not want no wear and tear uh, any seats unless i get some e55 seats and put in here which would be pretty dope but you know let me know just trying to keep up with this and i want to change that little bad boy right there uh that stick i think if i'm mistaken yeah i want to change that Bro, man, this car is really meant inside. Like, only thing that we got issues with is this damn headliner. I don't know how many times to say this. So I gotta see where I get a headliner from, but yeah. Anyway, next task we need to do. Next thing we need to do is take this um, brake switch out. And it's kind of hard to see, but I need to remove this panel right here. The car with this. Like I said, I'm trying to give y'all much angle and much interaction as possible. Uh, it been so long. I think the, the people who did, they took, they took it out, they had to. They get, you know, like, oh yeah, it's dropping. It's dropping on me, it's dropping on me. <laughs> All right guys, what a bummer. So apparently we got the wrong brake light switch. This is from, or this is for a 2003 between 2006 as you can see as you can see y'all probably can't see i'm trying to you know make everything y'all see that that's the brake light switch right there it got like two uh inputs my the one i had got only got one output so yeah as much as i get disappointed with uh autozone or o'reilly's or them they great stores but when it comes to getting parts for like these type of cars um it could be a hassle uh tahoe never had no issue everything is like you know right there um but anyway i just ordered a part from events i believe and yeah i ordered from them so um hopefully they said it should be here by two tomorrow but if not it might be pushed back a day so hopefully fingers crossed uh, i can have it before so i can you know have cruise control for a whole six hours or so if not it's cool um, but it would be nice to have cruise control. I like having my fall lights and all that loose stuff on. So, anyway, we're gonna put this back, and I guess I put this box up. And try to see if I can return it uh, to FCP Euro, a German or uh, I guess a European uh, parts company. So everything is like OEM, you know, within spec compared to other things like Amazon and other places of that nature. If you get what I'm saying, but. Other than that, it is what it is. So we're gonna put this back. Uh, we're gonna do a POV drive for a little bit. And we're gonna actually call it a day. Um, honestly, I got my trim back on. Um, that's pretty much it. So I hope y'all like the video. I know it's a lot of talking and stuff and all. And I thought we was gonna actually clear the codes too. So guys, the car really feel good. Like I said, we got fresh oil in this bad boy. Um, yeah, driving smooth, all fluids good, belt good. Um, hopefully we get the part tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to change it out tomorrow, uh, before. Um, other than that, car driving real smooth and good. I might go to Lowe's to see if they got some screws or something. So I can, uh, I, I'm try, I was trying to find the screws online, but I just can't. Um, so I'm gonna find like something like a uh, replica. I think it was, believe, I believe it was like a flight head. As y'all can see, the codes came back. Um, Cause you know, the brake light switch or whatever. And I can't even put, I can't even turn my traction control off anyway, as you can see. So it ain't gonna allow me to do that. So till then we changed that. 
Um, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed that sort our issues and stuff. But I can't put in cruise control right now. Just indicating that my brake light switch is gone. That happened to me last time before. Everything, like, a little a month or two after I owned the car, this popped up. I wasn't able to put in cruise control, which sucked. But, yeah. I mean, I can put in cruise control right now. Let me turn these lights off. I should be able to. Let me see. Probably ain't probably gonna let me do it now, but I mean, it will let me do it. It's kind of weird. Anyway, guys, I gotta throw that trash away. But I was given a CD by somebody on today, posted on my story, on my personal page or whatever. We gonna take a listen. To it. We gonna see if the CD go in. I don't know. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Anyway, I don't wanna get copyrighted. Yes. 